All right, more teachers are pushing back against teaching critical race theory in schools, including former Loudoun County Public Schools teacher Laura Morris in Virginia. She resigned on the spot this week in protest of those lessons during a school board meeting. I was told in one of my so-called equity trainings that white, Christian, able-bodied females currently have the power in our schools and that, quote, this has to change. I quit. I quit your policies, I quit your trainings, and I quit being a cog in a machine that tells me to push highly politicized agendas on our most vulnerable constituents, the children. Our next guest currently teaches for Loudoun County Public Schools. Monica Gill joins us now. Uh, Monica, thank you for joining us. Uh, You've said Loudoun County won't just come out. Thank you so much. Of course, we're excited to speak to you. Uh, you've, you've said that Loudoun County won't just come out and say that they're teaching CRT, but they're sort of pushing this philosophy under the guise of equity training. Can you give us some examples of what you're seeing? Absolutely. I have sat in these equity tra- trainings and I have witnessed the division pushing very divisive things from critical race theory. They're imposing it really as a lens by which teachers are supposed to teach their curriculum. So it's not as if they're taking critical race theory and saying, here's critical race theory, teach this to the kids. Instead, they're using it as a lens by which we're supposed to educate our kids and teach kids how to view the world. And for instance, I have seen them pushing the racial stereotype of white privilege. I have heartbreakingly watched that trickle down into our student body where I have witnessed some of our students of color excluding their white peers by saying things like, well, you can't be a part of this conversation because you're white, which is heartbreaking. No child should be excluded from a conversation because of their skin color. That has nothing to do with whether or not they have something of value to add to a conversation or to our fellowship and our community. We're being taught that if you claim to be colorblind, that that is a microaggression, that you are being racist, which That's the complete antithesis of what Dr. Martin Luther King taught us. You know, he advocated for a colorblind society. So this is very damaging to kids. We should be teaching kids that there is one race, the human race, and advocating for anything different is just, it's not going to give us a healthy society. So how are the students reacting to this? Are you seeing kids be negatively impacted or are there some kids who appreciate it? You know, I think it's a mixed bag. You know, right now we're a very polarized um, community, which is sad to see and very heartbreaking. But I think some kids buy into it. And as I said, you know, we're seeing this impact our students in the way that they're looking at one another and dividing each other along lines of race. And there are some kids who are just not buying into it. I think particularly our biracial students have a lot of trouble with this because, you know, they have maybe one parent who is white. And if they speak up to protect that parent, or a friend who might be white, then they are considered white adjacent. It really is so divisive and polarizing, it's heartbreaking to see. So we just heard from the Loudoun County school teacher who resigned in front of the board on Tuesday. How has that been received by the administration? Have they reached out to you or to other teachers and are more planning to resign? Would you resign? Uh, Well, I mean, I don't know about the full reaction of everyone else, but what I can tell you is that Laura Morris's words to the school board were eloquent and they were poignant. And as a like-minded teacher, myself and other teachers I know really found what she said to be a great articulation of exactly what we have been feeling and experiencing in the last two years. And so I see her resignation as a tragic, really just a tragic casualty of this school board and their divisive policies. So you're hoping they reverse course before more people are forced to take her position? Uh, You know, I would hope so. You asked if I was going to resign, and my answer is no, not at all. I love my job, and I love my kids, and I have every intention to continue to do my job with excellence and show them love and respect and nurture and bless them in every way that I can. All right. Monica Gill, thank you so much for speaking with us. Coming up a little bit later, we're going to be hearing... Thank you for having me. Of course. We're going to be hearing from that teacher. Um, Laura Morris. Yes, who, who gave that impassioned speech on the floor, in, the, um, in the meeting earlier this week. She really shook things up. I think uh, she's a, an example of teachers just wanting to teach but being fed up with the bureaucracy and what they're being told to do.